Oi, Carlos. Bit early for clubbing, innit? I'm off to Whittles, aren't I? Oh, to seal my deal. <laughs> well, I can if you want. Or I could sign off on the one I did and we'll do a lot better. Our little lad's all grown up. I could come with you if you want. <laughs> You're all right. I might be useful. Zabrugger useful. What he means is, he wants to learn from the master. <laughs> Don't want me out on my own. Think I'm a bit of a loose cannon, do you? Oh, come on, then. I'll need a drinking partner to celebrate with afterwards. Ty. Good morning. Good week, I hear. Congratulations, Detective Chief Inspector. Thanks. Still sounds a bit strange when I hear it. Fully deserved. And straight in at the deep end. The Riley job. Yeah, the Riley job. Look, um, I wanted to... Well, I, I kept meaning to. It's just been so. Busy, I know. Been there. Everyone expected you to head it up. Yeah, <laughs> not everyone. Good luck with it. Charles. You're so are you? Is that a, an automatic greeting, or do you really want to know? I'm investigating a months old in house there from a supermarket warehouse. That's how I am. And solving it, I hear. Well done. Well, I have had more taxing challenges. Hmm, like the bookmaker raid that's lying there neglected? Hardly. Should be another piece of cake, then, shouldn't it? Yeah, it should be a job for a considerably lower ranked officer. Ah, it's beneath you, is it? Am I being punished for Tom King? Grace, you're a police officer. You're here to do police work. Now, if you consider that a punishment, you might want to ask yourself if you're in the right job. Hmm? Hello, Mom. Hello, Donna. <sighs> Quite excited. I just sent in my application form to join up for real. Not that this isn't real. I love it. But uh, I see you, you know, proper officers, and that's definitely what I want to do. Make a difference. <laughs> Oh, you'll make a difference. Thanks. It'll start with your home life. The difference being you'll no longer have one. Then your friends. They'll become acquaintances and then just people you used to know. You'll make a difference when you walk into rooms because people will stop talking. But all this is gradual. And you won't really appreciate the difference until... years down the line. When you hear people talking about... Um, Families, and husbands, and boyfriends, and children, and days out, and just living life. And you will wonder if this difference was ever worth chasing. Thanks, then. Send him application form. Nervous. I think you made a new friend there. Yeah, and if he keeps being nice to me, I'll let him pay us another fortune this time next year. People like it when you boss them around. Should have realised sooner. Uh, yeah, well, save the Gordon Gecko stick for non-board members. Where to now, then? They make it snappy. This isn't exactly my favourite place. No, I can't. Kelly. Well, knock her back for once. She's making a meal. All the more reason. Come on, I only let you tag along so you could give your wallet an airing. All right. I'll air it for a quick one in the wool pack. Oh, forget it. You talk back to your mistress. I'll celebrate for both of us. And if I'm not back by midnight, wait longer. Today it's another new low. Uh, you're not following me, are you? Yes, I'm obsessed with you. You fill my every waking hour and come to me in my dreams. Detective Chief Inspector, I do believe you're drunk. Probably, but I'll be sober in the morning and you'll still have a guilty conscience. Um, <laughs> about what? Harboring a murderer. Go away. Oh, I don't think so. Well, she's probably just having a bad day. No, it sounded like a bad few years. 
far as recruitment drives go, it was a good one for digging ditches. Well, you see, not everyone can balance a fulfilling home life with a successful career. You've been very lucky. You've got a very good role model. <laughs> Let's get on. Thanks for that. Hey, so you got the basics of being a copper nail. Go and sit in a lay-by for three and a half hours. I reckon you'll be ready for promotion. <laughs> OK. I told you, I don't drink with the likes of you. What, men? Yeah, I did wonder. Well, spurned male makes lesbian jive. There's a first. Hard day at the office. I'm in the results business. The business is slow. I'd sympathise, but under the circumstances. I thought I did well just narrowing the search for your father's killer. You could fill the cemetery with people who dance on his grave. You knew nothing about my dad. He was a bully. He liked to toy with people. Bit of a Napoleon complex. And he made his son's lives hell. Be beholden to you. Oh, like a drink off me would get you off our backs. Well, I am off them, officially. <laughs> of course you are. I think I'm stupid. Quite the opposite. But you and your brothers, <laughs> sorry, I mean your father, mysterious, untraceable killer, is someone else's business now. It's a relief in a way. Ruining lives getting boring, was it? the echoes of my own past. My father was, um, easily disappointed. Maybe he hoped you'd get a proper job. He was in the force himself. ACC. Assistant Chief Constable. Made it clear at a very early age that any other career was not an option. It was your life. Remind me what you do again. <laughs> You've done all right. Done better than that. Do you know how many women hold my position? The fewer the better if you're a typical example. <laughs> that could have come straight out of my father's phrase book. Well, I bet my dad's book is bigger than yours. Where did I go wrong with you? Do you disappoint me on purpose? You'd be nothing. If it wasn't for me. Stick his nose into your love life as well, did he? <laughs> I thought I was bad. Divorced in my twenties and not had anything meaningful since. Except... Just a diddingle. But to get to your age and have not been with anyone worth mentioning... <laughs> well, <laughs> on that note... Oh, look, I, I meant you look good. <laughs> For my age. For any age. So you think I still have them um, something to offer then? Oh, I must be off. I don't know what this is, but we shouldn't be talking about this. You're right. Are you messing with me? No. I apologise if my relaxed state has made me say anything that makes you uncomfortable. I'm not uncomfortable. So? See you around. That might be nice. Another one, madam? Or have you had enough? <sighs> I've definitely had enough of these. Bring me, um, something alcoholic this time. <laughs> I think I've earned it. 